guys, Taco G here, and this time I actually pressed the record button. Today we are going to be making a little thing called a grade book averager of a fire. Otter. You didn't give me a proper introduction. Shh, introduce yourself. Um, uh, mom, 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 bye. Oh crap, you left. Nah, but I did. Nah. I'm Houdini. Okay. So anyway, um, we're making something that takes your grades and it averages them, um, using the power of for loops and functions. So, why don't you get started on writing that? And okay. please explain what you're doing right now on the screen. Oh, right now what I'm doing is I'm making an array learned about last time uh and i'm filling it up with grades that you have in your grade book right now wow you got some really crap grades man i'm talking about you what i don't have those grades oh yeah <laughs> I don't yeah, have yeah. A you're right you're completely right forgot <laughs> now, now it's realistic so i well i have you know i have a hundred in every class thank you and when you average it out, you have to actually have uh, a total that'll keep co uh, that'll keep track of the sum of all these. So what we need the function will average out, will add up all these values and divide it by the total amount I have in here, which is five. So to start off, I'm gonna do where average goes function parentheses open brackets. And now we get into the good stuff. This is something new we're gonna learn this time. Woo! We're gonna learn about for loop. For loop was slightly shown in the last episode. And what it does, it, it loops it loops for however many times you want it to. So start putting there some letter like X I D E of So we're gonna go with I because it's just easy to remember. There I equals, and we're gonna start off at zero because first number this array always represented by zero if you're trying to find it. So then, as long as I is less than grades dot length, then I plus. So what this does so far is it sets a variable of I to zero. As long as I is smaller than grades dot length. It'll do what's inside of these brackets. And then after the first loop, it'll add one to the i, which is what the plus plus does. And then as long as it's still underneath grades.length, it'll do it again. And it'll keep doing that over and over until i is as big as grades.length. So let's get started. Inside of here, first we need to do is total plus equals grades and then i. So whatever number i is, starting off with zero, inside of grades, will be added to zero. So, what's up with zero? So, uh, zero represents 87, so we'll add 87 to total. And then, uh, after that, it'll be one. One represents the 96, and it'll add that to the total. And it'll keep doing that until it gets to the end. So, with a zero right here. <laughs> wow, I can't believe you. And then, after, <coughs> after all that, it will finally take total, divide it by equals, so divide it by, excuse me, divide it by grades dot length. length of the grades. And now, we'll basically get, we have changed. You forgot to um call the function? Well, we're about to get to that. We have, uh, but thank you, anyway, we have Set up function. See guys, I'm like a Java pro and he kind of sucks at it, so uh... Wow, I was <clears> really <throat> just about to write that down after I explained what we had so far. Thank you very Stop much. Stop lying. Stop lying. Mm. Wow, so, all these lies. What we have right now. Uh, we have learned about the for loop. We have learned these new operators. And we have set up this little averaging thing. Uh, if you really want to... You can use that little thing I was talking about earlier, the 
prompt to make it so you can type in your own stuff. For now. Hey, wait, 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 wait. You forgot to console.log it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Thank you for that, though. Console.log. Uh, total. See? I'm helpful. Yes, you are. I'm so like the again. teacher here. Oh Run god, your grade point it average seems that, is just it terrible. It seems that Otter has a 60.8 in his class. How do you get a decimal? <laughs> Those are not my grades. That is his grade in his math class right now. It's probably why he couldn't However, add up those, it's probably why he couldn't a... add up those numbers. So <laughs> Okay, listen, I have a 96 in my math right now, so Okay, well, you can you can keep lying, but for the time being, we don't want decimals <laughs> in our grade book. No. Cause that's so, impossible. Yeah, you don't you don't you don't get a ninety nine point nine in your class. You get either a ninety nine or you get a hundred. So how do we fix this? Remember math I was talking about the little math, math dot dot ceiling. Ceiling. Yeah, dude, so just up whatever total is to a whole number. Now sixty point eight becomes a sixty one. Dang, that's so much better. <laughs> wow, I can't believe you're still doing this bad. Uh, okay, uh, please put in my actual grades. 100, 100, 100, 100. Zero. Okay. Now, instead of this, how about we set up some prompts that you can put in your own numbers. So this way, mm-hmm, uh, repeat it. This way, you can fill up Five grades. Wait. Whatever. Oh, you fill your prompt, so now they're taking. Okay. Now we're prompted with this thing, this thing. We fill it with number or something, but it's gonna say zero, hundred, ninety-six, hundred, negative twelve. <laughs> and you get man because negative twelve. Oh, it's not in there. Uh, we redo it though, so 12 back in there, the 100, the 100, the 96, zero. You actually have a, oh. You oh. did something wrong. Uh, I really did, didn't I? Um, hmm. Uh, what, uh, 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 I just got you might want to cut this out the video. Uh, no, no, this is, this is a learning experience. <laughs> you learn from your mistakes. You really do. Thank um, you for. Hey, um, the, the mistake here is that uh, uh, oh gosh, um, mistake I made here. When you uh, made those prompts, is it taking? It, it was screen? actually the prompts. It was actually taking so long for the prompts to pop up on the screen that it was actually um, it was adding actually, them. It was actually kind of adding them. It was kind of adding the number. Well, well, yeah, I have absolutely no idea what I did wrong. But. Yeah, that's it. That's all I got. Well, uh, guys, that was um <coughs> a very, very terrible JavaScript tutorial. I, 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 really something. Don't know what's, I don't know what's going on here, but if for some reason it's taking the prompts and it's making it a really, really high number. I don't know what's happening. Maybe it's... Well... I just put in a zero, and it gave me 200,000. Uh, perhaps it's... Oh, it may be adding the... Li no, that couldn't be it. Never mind. Anyway, well, that's all for now, guys, because we're going to figure out how to debug this, because we, we led you in the wrong direction, and um, we'll see you later. We really are. <laughs> Bye!